Thank you, Father. Hello, everyone. Good morning. I have a question for you. How many of you ever had a moment in your day or uh, an event happen in your life where you thought, gosh, God did that today, or God brought that person to my life today? Um, if so, you've experienced a God moment. Um, during pastoral council a year and a half, two years ago, Father asked each of us to look over the past week and share with us where God was found in our week. Well, I was like, wow, I haven't never thought about that. Um, and I thought, oh, please make me go last because, oh, I'm not sure what God moment there was in my life last week. But as I thought about it, I thought, wow, okay, there were some little events where, you know, my workload got lightened where I thought it was going to be heavy. And um, I found a couple of moments where God was in my life that week. So God shows himself in little ways in every day of our lives, whether it's a big event of a birth of a child or curing someone from a serious illness or having your son who's away at college pick up the phone and give you a phone call. Um, there are God moments every day in our lives. So I want to share with you um, a God moment in my life. Um, as I reflected over the past week, um, there was a God moment that happened for me yesterday. Um, I'm planning a wedding shower or a bridal shower for my son's fiance, and I asked my sister to help me plan it. And she's the creative one in the family, so she's the perfect one to help out. So I texted her and said, hey, why don't we get together and try to plan this wedding shower? And um, I had a phone call with her, and we Facebook all the time. And she agreed to do it, and we decided, all right, we'll do it Saturday. So I was having breakfast with my husband on Saturday morning. I thought, oh, I haven't talked to my sister. I better text her and find out what time she's coming over. So I texted her, and we agreed on 11 o'clock, and she came over, and we started planning things. and spent about an hour and we thought, oh, it's time to go shop. Let's go shop and go see what we're going to get for this bridal shower, put it together. And a couple of hours have gone by and we decided, you know what, we haven't had lunch, we're hungry, let's go sit and eat. Now, it was great. We decided Chick-fil-A's across the street, let's go. We'll spend a couple of minutes and then head home. A little background, my sister, about 10 years ago, was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. And she just doesn't take care of herself. And so the last couple of years, she's really been struggling with it, and her health has been failing. Um, about seven months ago, she was told that she had maybe five years left to live because she's not taking care of herself. So um, we haven't really talked. We do the typical you know, electronic conversations. Every now and then, pick up the phone and talk to each other. Well, while we were sitting in Chick-fil-A, which we thought was just going to be a few minutes, ended up being two hours, where she could share with me how she felt like she was going to spend the rest of her five years or more or less. And I thought, you know, God had put that day there for her to be with me so that she could share those moments that we actually had FaceTime instead of Facebook time. And so that was my God moment for this week. Um, so why am I telling you all of this today? Well, Father, in a path for each of us to grow in our faith, has established priority teams. I'm on priority team number one, which is forming intentional disciples. And as part of forming intentional disciples, we've come up with three goals that we are going to work with each of us in the parish. Um, the first one is to recognize that Jesus Christ is the most important relationship in our lives. The second is to be able to share our faith stories in little God moments, just as I've shared with you. And the last is to empower our leaders to understand the how, why, and what of becoming intentional disciples so that they can share with all of us that path. So what we as a priority group have decided to do was find a way for you to share your God moments by looking at where God was in the little things in your life and where God was in your life this week. There's a little stand in the back of the narthex that has a little poster on it that says, um, finding God in the little moments, and where did you find God this week? Um, there's a couple of pieces of paper. There's white paper and blue paper. 
And on the white paper, we'd like you to share your God moments over the past week that you would like to share with all of us, whether it be someone reading it up on the podium, putting it into the bulletin, or sharing it on our Facebook page online. Um, there's a blue sheet up there that we want you to still share your God moments, but this is personal and you don't want it shared, but you do want to share it with the rest of us to place it in the vessel that we've put at the back in the stand so that you all can see God is working in our lives every day, that he's with us every week. And by looking at that vessel and sharing in your God moments in that vessel, you can see how many people are touched by God every day. So I ask you, did you see God this week in your little moments? If so, come back and join me and share on your white or blue piece of paper today. Thank you.